Hello and welcome. I believe data structures and algorithms is one of the most important skills that any software developer must have. This skill has helped me land an internship at Redfin and PlayStation. Many people may say, ignore DSA, ignore LeetCo, and just focus on general full stack development. But in my opinion, being able to practice this skill and get a high paying job is definitely worth it. In this video, I will explain how I would approach DSA if I could start over. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first step is mastering fundamentals. From my experience, mostly code problems are built around some fundamental concept in DSA. So it's really hard to solve these problems if you don't have a solid understanding of these topics. A few common data structures in coding interviews are array, string, hash map, graph, stack, queue, and binary tree. For common algorithms, I often see breadth-first search, depth-first search, binary search, sliding window, and two pointers. It's really important to understand this concept well so that you know where to apply it. The way that I learned the fundamentals is by taking the grouping coding interview patterns in Python on Educative. This course will cover everything you need to master the basics. This is a paid course, but I believe the investment is definitely worth it. Once you have a solid understanding of these topics, it's time to get some practice. Leetco is a great website for that. It contains many questions that you will see in a real coding interview. And more importantly, you can access most problems for free. You can invest in premium if you want to, but I don't think it's necessary. But Leetco has thousands of questions. Which one should you study? The answer is apply 75. I believe I have mentioned this in another video. So the list consists of 75 lead code questions that will cover the majority of the topic in a real coding interview. You can find the solutions of these problems for free on YouTube as well. There's a YouTuber named Nickcode.io. He makes YouTube video solving these problems step by step. I really like the way that he explains the problems. It's very easy to understand. I will leave a link of the resources in the description, so feel free to check it out. If you follow the previous two steps, you should be able to solve easy and medium problems now. But if you want to take your skill to the next level, here's what you can do. This trick significantly improved my lead code skill. I wish somebody told me this when I first started. It's asking the question why. When I first practiced in lead code, I focused a lot on memorization. If I could not solve a problem, I would stay at my screen and try to remember the solution. But that's not how the human brain works. I usually forgot the solution the moment I turn off my computer. A better approach is going step by step. Keep asking the question why until you understand each line of code. I know for some people, this is uncomfortable because it takes a lot of mental energy to do so. But that's the only way for you to be a problem solving skill. When you solve these lead code problems, you will start to observe your strength and weaknesses. It's really important to cover these weaknesses as soon as possible because they will mess you up in the future. I'm telling you this from my own experience. I used to have a bad habit of ignoring my weaknesses because it hurts my ego when I face it. And I had to learn this the hard way. We are all humans, so it's okay to have weaknesses, but it's not okay to stay weak. So drop your ego, accept that you are not perfect and there's a lot of things that you can improve. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. That support the channel a lot and I will see you in the next video. Peace.